Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. Uh, today is Thursday, uh, later afternoon, about five o'clock, maybe later, I don't know. Uh, it's a beautiful day, 74 degrees and sunny right now. Uh, we don't have many of these days. So I went to Walmart today and picked up some gardening stuff. So, um, you know, you, you can actually talk yourself out of doing something by hesitating and second guessing yourself and <laughs> just coming up with one reason after another not to do it. So um, I've been watching videos and I can watch videos to I'm, to I'm blue in the face and unless I actually just do it, I'm not gonna know what's gonna work, what's not gonna work. So let me show you what I got and keep in mind this year is gonna be very experimental as far as gardening on a budget. So let's uh, take a look at what I got today. All right, so after contemplating how to garden this year, I know I didn't want to do an in-ground garden. I didn't want to rototill. I don't want to deal with the weeds and all that stuff. Um, so I definitely do wanted to do a, a raised garden bed this year. Wood is expensive. Um, I contemplated totes, which is not ruled out. But right now, the easiest thing I can think of to do in front of you are kitty pools. These are just plastic kitty pools I got at Walmart. There's three of them there. I don't know if I'll use all three of them. Um, but for sure going to use one because you see I've got some plants there. So these are the smallest. There was three sizes. I got the smallest because you have to fill these things. And I know you can fill them with your own like compost, branches, leaves, uh, grass clippings, things like that. But when you're starting out, um, you might not have a lot of that stuff. So the first year might be just trying to fill it yourself. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I got a kiddie pool. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is drill holes in the bottom. And the plants I got here, I got, there's four veggie plants right there. I got two cherry tomato plants. And they are, let me see if I can, they are super sweet 100 hybrid cherry tomatoes. I got two of those. I got a cucumber, which is right here, and jalapeno right there. Um, I did want to get more, but I'm just kind of going off a budget right now. I did have... Um, those small watermelon. I did have one of those plants and a cantaloupe plant in the basket, but I put them back because I knew I still had to get dirt or soil, whatever. So yeah, just trying to keep it within the budget here. <laughs> and then for flowers, I wanted to do a whole pool of annual flowers, but it is June 2nd and the annual flowers are pretty slim pickings right now. And I really didn't see any that really caught my eye as far as really pretty or anything. But these, these are perennials. And these are lilies. And I love lilies. But these are perennials. So, I got these. I did want to get another one. Now, being June 2nd, they're starting to chop the prices down on some of this stuff. Like these two lilies... The original price was almost nine dollars and no they were over almost eight dollars and they're cut down to four dollars and 43 cents each so there was a third plant I wanted to get a third flower sorry <laughs> a bird flew by um, they they were uh, flower bells the flowers look like bells and I know hummingbirds like to feed off of those but that price was not cut down yet, so <laughs> so I didn't get it. Um, so right now, this is what I got. And so, for sure going to use one kiddie pool for the veggies. Now, perennials, I would like to see if they would work in these kiddie pools. But I know um, the roots are bigger and things like that. 
from afar they look really pretty in the in the pool I'm gonna show you like if you're sitting down just looking like that those lilies look really pretty sitting in that pool so I thought to just trial them in here to see if it works or if not we have a bigger galvanized tub um, that has dirt in it I would have to puncture holes drill holes at the bottom and uh, pull weeds out and stuff to plant the lilies in there so but I'm really this is like I said it's experimental for me right now so I'm really tempted to see if these lilies perennial lilies will work in the kiddie pool I've looked for videos on that and I could not find anything specific to this so if it works then I can put a video out to let everybody know hey it works I don't know just kind of thinking I don't know so that's what I got for flowers and plants and planters and this is what I got for dirt or mix this is four bags of raised garden bed mix and natural and organic again keep in mind June 2nd my pickings were slim but it's ready to use no mixing required and it's good for growing veggies flowers herbs and raised beds and that's what I was looking for I didn't want to have to buy a whole bunch of other stuff and mix my soil I want kind of like a plug-and-play throw it in plant and done so I each one of these bags is 1.5 cubic feet so I'm not sure how many will it take to fill up one of these kiddie pools and this is the reason I bought the smallest kiddie pool is because I didn't want to have to buy more dirt right now so so what I'm gonna do right now is start putting holes in the bottom of this pool get the veggies planted and I know I have to find some wiring to go around it well, I don't know if I'll need that right now but I might we do get deer and raccoon and critters at night so I might, might have to run back to Walmart to get a cage or something to put around this so we'll see we'll see I guess we'll see what they look like in the morning otherwise I will go in the morning so all right so I wanted to let you know that I'm I'm ready to garden I'm getting a late start but a start yet <laughs> I am starting um, I also have a food pantry haul for you today I did go to the weekly food pantry today so that'll be coming up so let me get started on this all right everyone so um this has two bags two full bags of that soil that i got and it's pretty full what i'm doing right now is i'm just breaking up the pieces there's some uh clumps and stuff in there so i'm just breaking it up with this and then uh, i think i'm gonna wait till tomorrow to plant the veggies until i can get a some kind of cage around it that way tonight the critters don't eat them but I might plant the flowers in it so <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm just kind of breaking down all the clumps in there and then I think I am going to put the flowers in here I said it was uh, an experimental year to see what works what doesn't work and that's what I'm going to do okay everyone so what I've done today um, I did puncture a bunch of holes on the bottom of this swimming pool and like I said that's full two full bags of dirt of uh, soil I keep calling it dirt but it's a uh, raised garden soil and it's organic and it's got all the stuff in it where you don't have to mix anything so I took some measurements and the dirt center is seven inches high so there's plenty of dirt or <laughs> there's plenty of soil in there and the size of this pool 
it the inner I measured from the inside to inside and that's 32 inches in diameter so just under three feet in diameter in the inside dirt is seven inches high and I put the two lilies in there and we'll see how they do so now what I'd like to do what I'm going to do is remember a while back I bought all these this was at the end of last summer I bought all kinds of uh, seed packets and I've got some flower ones here these are annuals so I think I'm just going to put some in here and see if they grow so that's I guess part of my experiment to see how late you can put these seeds in and if you'll get any results so I got all these at half price last year so now that I'm doing this I'm so excited <laughs> to to get stuff at the end of summer <laughs> oh yeah this is fun I'm having fun doing this so I'm pretty excited about this I'm hoping the critters don't come the deer don't come and eat my flowers <laughs> I'm going to be upset in the morning if I come out here and I see no flowers. But I think they look really nice in the pool. And it's going to be a nice view. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of these seeds in. I'm not going to put all of them in because I don't want to overcrowd it, I guess. But maybe there's nothing wrong with overcrowding it. I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> So right here, I just dug a little strip right here and you can see seeds in here. Pretty much the whole diameter of the pool. And I put the seeds for the zinnias in. And you know why I like zinnias? Because uh, the sw tiger swallowtail butterfly loves zinnias. And if I can get the butterflies here to come to me, that would be amazing. I would be so happy. So I'm going to continue on and put maybe a couple more lines of seeds in here and see how they grow. I may be doing it wrong and that's okay because like I said it's experimental. My first year really gardening so this is going to be learn as you go. <laughs> so, so don't destroy me in the comments for how I'm doing it please. Um, yeah. I'm just going to see what works. All right, everyone. So here is the weekly food pantry haul, and I'll just get right into it. Uh, so we got a bag of pizza blend cheese, uh, shredded cheese. And keep in mind, this is uh, the weekly is where we get to pick whatever we want from each section. And depending on how many are in your family, they tell you how much you can have. So uh, sorry for that jerking. My... Uh, Gimbal is running low on battery. So, uh, sub rolls, we, there was three in the pack, and they are super soft. Oh my gosh, they are so squishy. Uh, the other two we had for supper, I, I believe I said it earlier, I was going to make a sweet and sour chicken for supper, but then we saw, felt how soft these rolls were, so we figured we better eat them right away. So we had a couple of sub lunches for supper tonight. And then... I got a bag of long grain rice and for the vegetables um, there was a lot of vegetables and they said we could uh, let me shut this gimbal off <laughs> okay so for vegetables there was quite a bit of vegetables there so they said we could pick four different vegetables or the same it doesn't matter but we had a choice of four vegetables or fruit and potatoes were free as an addition so we actually got five vegetables or fruit so i picked out after looking what was there i was trying to plan what i was going to make with everything so that would determine what i was going to pick out i picked out cauliflower and broccoli to make a broccoli salad so i might make that today's thursday um maybe saturday during this weekend because we also got some more of those uh, ham or not ham pork chop steaks or <laughs> pork chops we also got some of those pork steaks again 
so maybe I'll make a broccoli salad this weekend. Maybe we'll cook those out. Not sure yet. So because the other thing I picked out was carrots and we got the freebie potatoes. But I thought we have a chuck roast in the freezer. I could do a pot roast and that would take care of the potatoes and carrots for that. And we already have onions. So and the other uh, veggie slash fruit I picked out was... A container of strawberries and rather than eating them just like that I thought to make um, either a strawberry jello poke cake and just slice some strawberries for the top or make some kind of strawberry puree for the top of some dessert we'll see what happens with that I chose this for Glenn hot sauce chili habanero and he tried it right away. I don't think he's ever tried habanero. And I told him they're supposed to be really hot. And he said, yes, it creeps up on you. He didn't taste the heat at first, but it did creep up on him. And But he said he liked the taste of that. So, so yeah, I chose that for Glenn. And then a big can of Bush's Homestyle Baked Beans. I apologize for the camera being shaky. The battery on the gimbal roll, uh, ran out. So I'm actually holding the phone. And it's an older phone, so it doesn't have image stabil stabilization or anything. Uh, cream of mushroom. We can always use that. And we got a piece of chocolate cake. It look, I think that's whipped, uh, whipped topping frosting. And when we get cake like that, it's usually really good. The cake's usually really moist. Got uh, four cheese mashed potatoes and some mashed potatoes. Got a couple of uh, trail mix packs. Uh, chose a can of pineapple chunks. A box of lime jello. We really like the lime jello. It's really good. A box of mac and cheese. Roll of toilet paper. And look at that. We got a DiGiorno uh, flaky and buttery croissant pizza. It's a four cheese pizza. So I just took some of our pepperoni and put it on there. We actually had that for lunch today. Uh, Glenn did not care for it at all. I actually thought it was pretty good. Um, so yeah, I didn't think it was bad at all. Glenn did not like it. So, But we did eat that for lunch today. Okay, so that is all of our food pantry haul for this week. Uh, next week, I should be going to a monthly food pantry haul and the weekly so there will be a couple of food pantries next week. All right. Um, I am tired. It is Thursday night. Um, as you saw, I did the garden today or I started it. So I'm pretty excited about the garden. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video as well. So thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I appreciate all of your support and I hope you enjoyed it. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.